I smell like a torpedo has just hit me. He has. <laughs> he has. Forget about it. Yeah, and you just get a video. Ah! Ah, oh, wank. Oh, it's got shit on it. Yeah. <laughs> just think about all the industrious fellows you're going to be dealing with. Yeah. Oh, my fingers stick. Onion your fingers. I know, they're very potent. You're as potent as the next one. Oh, my. <laughs> so, I found out, got my freaking pillow stolen last night. So I only had one bloody pillow. Oh, do you think? Frickin' Warren had it with uh, Jen yesterday, the Warren had his drawing. They never gave him a pillow back. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we, we, sorry, we just uh, filmed the porno. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what's Brill Cream useful? Brill Cream? Yeah. Hey Siri, ignore me, you ho. Yeah, you can get a couple of Brill Creams. Maybe a couple of sandwiches or something. I've had a wrap. Wrap, yeah? Yeah. Was it? Spit some mud. Get some brill cream. That's actually a better. Got some brill cream. That's where the brill cream comes. It look, comes. I'm not using hair products on my ass. But if you don't shave it, you can wax it so you've got a lot of Mohican in your butt crack. <laughs> well, this is why I've always said to women: if you can flat it, keep it. If you can't, yeah. shave it off. Like imagine, male stripper comes out with flats with dreadlocks. I'm hardly phased by these e hoes. That's half of it. You've got the e-host next out. It is one for yeah. It's useful information I found out on the, the tiki toki. Yeah. Okay, just tiki toki. A couple of nipples in there. 17 of them, mate. Yeah. We just tried that cream as well, something called a nipple hard and pierce it. Yeah, I'd ask her about that. She did say she'd send me a message at the top. I really need to get the e-ho. You had one. You had one and you, you know, she was a fucking crazy bitch. To say the very least. <laughs> I actually haven't seen that one yet. No. No. Oh yeah, the one from the new movie. Yeah. yeah. Nothing will be thingy though. Um, that was a banger. banger that was. I've got it in 4K. Do you want to watch it? Shark and Riders. Yeah. 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 No one will top him. He pledges the one. Well, he did a lot of like. I mean, he made himself ill doing it. Yeah. He became he a joker. Um, but a lot of people didn't know how he was going to act. And he thought oh, brilliant. Well, yeah, people were saying it was like controversial, and they said they didn't want him to do it. They were like, "There's no way he'll be able to pull it off." Okay. So, uh, yeah, one of the scenes where he's like up in the woman's face, like the ball, like the ballroom. Yeah. So the snap that is him. completely off script. Like she did not know that he was going to do it. Yeah, that. so they were fucking scared. I mean, there was like you know the bit where he's come out of hospital and blows it up, mm. and he had a delayed explosion. Mm. That was part of the script because it all happened simultaneously, but he just played it off like nothing. That's one thing about Joker. It made an entire room scared of him. And he was a, like, a little bitch with it. The weak ones you have to be afraid of. It's not the strong ones you have to be afraid of. Yeah. What's the mental Because I'm stuck in there the other time. It's like fucking weapon. So in the weak ones you're going to be scared of. <laughs> 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 yeah, Jack, we'll just come out of the machete and take your eye out. Who's Michael Wood? Michael Wood. Michael Wood. Yeah, How big is his wood? 17.4 miles. Valorant Mahogany. Hey, should we go to Wakefield? <laughs> Where have you come from, lads? The shipment meme that happened oh, over Christmas. I've got to show you. Like, now. you quite literally missed everything that was going on. Oh, it was so bad. Literally. Like, you dodged the bullet this Christmas. Oh, I fuck is that going out of date? What do you mean? Have you seen Big John's order? Big John? He's going like on TikTok, he has a massive fucking takeout. What I said, he orders his takeout. What is this? He ordered this Chinese and it cost him 101 pounds. Not the diet. No, it's got to know the fish and the foam and the glue. You just have the ships anyway, either way. It's frothed up and you go. Even the fish, no, they don't like it. Probably. It's the way I have to edit my videos for nine days straight. Just because of the cycle. Uh. Ah! Ah! Well, she was stuck on it. <laughs> she was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shit, someone else is new. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself on fling. Speak to the e hoes. Or I am. No, I don't. Make a bingo sheet of all the mental health that they have. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, we did get the bingo sheet, you've already beat it. Yeah, but we're not going on past experiences, it needs to be moving forward. Yeah, so, from, 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 from our session tonight. Yeah. Okay, so we take BPT off. Yeah. Um, birth control. Yeah. <laughs> That's technically a mental illness. <laughs> you can tell they've got mental illness because it's like crazy Daisy back to summer remix. And she's. <laughs> yeah. 
It does. It does, because you're showing nothing. If anything, your trousers are too big because there's a gap. No, this is the craziest thing there, man. I've actually watched girls, like, go on the phone with their friends. And they'll pick out, oh, I don't like this about him, I don't like his fashion, I don't like that. Well, they ever considered that we look at them online and are like, well, that's too much skin. That's a fucking, like, that's a sex pest. That that's a claim. <laughs> <Do you laughs> want, so I watched this TikTok earlier, there's this guy in the car with his girlfriend. He's like, do you love me? I said, of course I do. I said, there are two people ahead of you I care more about. I said, what? He's like, yeah. Uh, who then? Who's more important? Who's more, what's more important than me? Well, okay. my, my mother to start with, because, you know, she's raising care and she'll always be top spot. Yeah, it's like, that's what, then, fact. Yeah, and then she went, well, it's your career ahead of you. I said, no. I said, what is it then? My barber. What do you mean, your barber? I said, <coughs> you, like, you like how I look? <coughs> you like how confident I am, like how happy I am? That's what he, he that's, he makes me happy. He's like, <coughs> so your barber makes me happy and I don't. Well, you can say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one mom, you only get one dad, and you only get one of you, well, of one of my two brothers as well. Yeah. Family is important because even if you have like huge spats and shit, you d you do always end up making up with stuff. So, usually, morbid curiosity, morbid curiosity, can't lie. Fetish. Yes. <laughs> straight oh. up the dinghy. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Straight to the organ bin. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just exactly. proved the point. Is that a cracker? Can't say that again. It's racist. Yeah. What in the fucking cheese dip is that? That's what I was thinking. That's gonna be the cheese dip. That's like Bobby and Crash ones. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that all about? Are they supposed to be? I, I don't know. He's doing golf. Uh, he's already, he's, he's already, the, the bookies have put odds on Gareth Bale to get the master. Fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. That's a plan. Why do they have a shitty fucking first taste and then taste a nice after? They're old. Yeah, you taste something just the whole way through. What the fucking crust on? It even fucking tastes like I it. eat it, what? right? How people call pizzas pies. For the pie in the oven. No, they're not technically a pie. Well, the deep, the deep pans are technically a pie. Go to love, you get a deep pan. It's not a deep pan. I know. Jim Carrey coming out and exposing the Illuminati. Not only is he... Do you want a crap Oh, Jesus. Can I need some more of these prawns? Hey, Jesus! Is that a boy? Well, you will never know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Just like a fucking 18 inch starfish. 18 inch? Yeah, go on Valorant, speak to some e-hoes. I just bust down Jen's door. I saw an argument from some feminists about like the fucking armour and stuff, and they were like, do you know how you know women are better? And they're like, what? It's like they don't wear any armour and they just have their tits it's, and stuff. It's, it's like, oh, shut up. Is that childish? Yeah, it's too much. It's black market. Black market? Yeah, that did went to the market, didn't it? And we brought that avatar card being it was porn. <laughs> Remember the childish comment? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you hear for that? Yeah. yeah, I don't think he remembers that. Fucking, I sent a picture of this avatar porn that yeah. popped up on Twitter. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was really funny. And it was some guy, and he'd said, he'd gone out and brought a bootleg copy of Avatar porn from the market. Well, he, did, he didn't mean to buy the Avatar porn, it just so happened that when he put the DVD in, Avatar porn popped up, oh, really? and he took a picture of it on his TV. I've still got it on my phone. And I sent it to her, and she goes, why don't you go show that to your childish friends, or your childish humour? Did you just get it? I was like, facing a great film. I was like, yeah, I see Halo memes all the time. I'm gonna get upset about it. Childish boy. Yeah. Should I just be like our oh, friend group hoodie? We all get one to walk around. Well, well technically we all could because there are replicas of them yeah. online. Like right. I, need, I, need you, I need you to. I, I need you to do a joke for me. That would be funny if we all went around down to Childish hoodie. You have a penis. No, you're not. I, I get. I get the joke. Yeah. That's why I said it like in four. I have a large penis. Yeah, I know. We could. The last in the world. Great shot though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, not really. I've had that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you only put up with it because you love them. Yeah. But you know there's better. And you have had better. Even blowjobs. Yeah. Isn't no one stopped it. No, no. Yeah. You just bust a load in the turkey. Probably <laughs> 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 my lungs fell enough. Popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn lungs that we just took it. <laughs> Well, that's, what, that's the thing, when I go on Valorant, I don't say Valorant Black Edition because I'm with e hoes. So much stuff is bored of them, it will never make it to YouTube without the fucking claim. I know. <laughs> Just, I think. Send it to people that trust, which is nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old dad jokes, isn't it? I was going to say, my, my dad joke was usually it wasn't big enough, couldn't find it. After they've quite literally said to the past, like, well, five years even, and after. 
That's the horrible thing, really. She never offended my penis size, though, which I, I do appreciate. But she said the, the, she faked the sex. But I laughed about that because I was like, well, it's funny how you did, yet somebody for five years, even after we split up, still come back and fuck me. So she still said good things about me after. Yeah. And she wasn't posting stuff like, me hurt you, spread it backwards. Fuck off. <laughs> That's a worm move. No, because worms are good for the environment. No, they're not. Wor worms are genderless. Yeah, but they wiggly do. things. Oh. They, well, she's definitely spewing manure out of mouth, oh, that's fuck. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so she is a worm. Yeah. Bought a vending machine and filled it with prime. What you right. do? And it's been smashed into. Oh, the queue is an hour long. He, he has to keep going every two hours to refill it. Scrapping over the prime in an hour bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is sad though, man. Like, it's literally two quid for something you can get for like a pound out of Lucas Oak. Even most people know Lucas Oak. To be honest, I've gone there. You, you didn't enjoy it, did you? Yeah, it was. Hope. I didn't. I, I, I didn't have it like once in the blue moon. Yeah, cases of prime for a Christmas present for the kids. But where you come from, love? Doncaster. You bought twelve pack of uh, prime energy. You paid me twelve hundred quid. It's What's the best shot in Wakefield? Wakey wines. <laughs> I still won't believe. I still can't believe some person swapped their three bedroom house for three cases. I have to get away with saying, <clears throat> calling it that. What? Pussy. I have to get away with calling it that. Well, the, the, the slogan on it was like, you think it is what it is, it is what you think it is, or some shit. It's a drink. It is they, they were taking what it is. is. But the thing is, that advertising was very suggestive as well, because they had like naked, yeah. but, but basically naked women on the front. He's like, I'd probe pussy, have you? There's that Asian <laughs> bloke with the skateboard. <laughs> at one point though, they did somehow put a ban on it for at least a year, because when I kept going into home bargain, I saw P star 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 Y yeah. mm -hmm. on the cans, and then suddenly uh, like about a year later, it come back as pussy again. I think they were told to censor it and then bring it back again. Well, don't be surprised. The thing is though, like the say, mentally insane, daddy issues, warps, don't like P. In fact, this is another thing actually, mate. His mum left him at a young age and was quite abusive up until about five or six years old when she left. And I've noticed people, especially like motherless households for men, fatherless households for women, you tend to find out they become very unstable in the future because he basically went off with this girl, fucked her mum. Yeah. Basically, like, technically speaking, abused women. like just love doing it like fucking their minds up and all sorts he was tapped mm. but that was literally all just because he hated his mum which led him to hate women mm. Mm. the same way it leads from like the daddy issues like the mum issues quite literally it leads back to that and they end up hating people and then they take it out on them because they expect they want like a mother figure or a father figure it's not your fucking job but this, this is why I laugh because I'm like you can go through a lot in life and still be yeah you can still have a lot of trauma from it and you can still have bad issues but you can always fucking come out mentally sane and not put it on other people yeah because like not once have i ever put my fucking <clears throat> like issues to that degree on someone to the point it's like really mentally affected them well, i mean you, obviously the situation lately it's just oh, well me and alice had to talk to you for a little bit yeah it was getting to us well that makes that makes perfect sense but i mean if i wasn't with her you know you wouldn't have any issues oh, with yeah. her like regardless because I'm not like that <laughs> just imagine just oh. imagine the next people that come in the next year <laughs> well, you whoever to goes from that one they'll be like what the fuck um, doesn't um, matter if you're black <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> <laughs> what a panga don't say anything I wouldn't say trouble more like choke Ch ch yeah she choked on that snake fucking dreadful yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think you know, I'll start reviewing the bootleg porn film. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping for more, you know, hair sex. Well, I was, I, I was told there was hair sex in it. I wasn't told there was literal sex. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't think it was a good film. It was good. Just Avatar from a childish point of view. I don't even know. What it, it, had it looked like a compass. Look like fucking satanic hieroglyphics or something. That's, the, that's going a bit far. <laughs> <laughs> that's going a bit far. You'll get freaking drawn and quartered for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what the craziest thing is about this though? Even if we're actually joking about this and you post this on YouTube, there's genuinely going to be someone that will report it and say you're a genuine Nazi just because you made a joke. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's a joke, a by the way. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Yeah, but they will, though, because it's a social construct. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched the Joker, big man, because trust me, humour is subjective. <laughs> it's another Blitzkrieg glass. Well, Blitzkrieg just means bombings, doesn't it? Like a cluster of bombings. First thing that comes up is German motorised and armoured vehicles. But the, the only way someone could physically cancel you is if you give in. Like, they were telling me to take the video down because of harassment and all this rubbish. But I ain't took it down. I ain't cancelling shit. And then someone put a pinned comment. When my mum walked in, I immediately switched to porn because it was just easier to explain. <laughs> <laughs> Polar Cabola. You got gunshots, you got floods. <laughs> Carving a wooden dog. Good thing they're not Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Except for videos, you got the safe for work and the not safe for work. Oh. <laughs> All people are outraged at the men elsewhere. But they don't know where we go. You remember the old Sun 950 holidays? You get a little token, you yeah. get Yeah? Yeah. It's a tenner. Well, you've got to go crazy. True. How much was it before? 950. <laughs> it's just 50p. It's 50p? Huh? This one, you basically, it was a big promotion over a broken amount of time. As soon as you got so many tokens, uh, you could get a holiday. Yeah. Sure. Someone's. Um, this is old again. Yeah. Someone's beaten millennia using two controllers at the same time. I just wish the fucking menus didn't look like fucking Netflix. Yeah. Just keep it simple. Yeah. Especially well, trying to just go to change a fucking camera. For your gun. Yeah. You'd go click it like seven fucking times. How much it can you said how much it is? The dude that made it, he's got them come out, he got pissed off, didn't he? Saying about how um they didn't like it because it was like a strong white male protagonist. Yeah. Yeah. And they were saying it wouldn't have mattered whether they were black or not, which it would have, because if IGM was reviewing it it would have got a ten. Mm -hmm. Technically yes the game was broken and it wasn't that great, but that had a lot to do with it. Yeah. It's like you look at like games like the quarry. I was looking at that, like most of the actors and the people in it, they look proper weak. Like none of them are gonna survive shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. I I've had the Yeah. Like the ones where you're on a on a bike or in a car and then randomly you just stood up and T posed. <laughs> like on top of the car yeah, while you're driving it. Yeah, but stuff like that, that. that's fucking funny, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. alright. People say but five, six was shit. Seven biohazard is very Oh good. it's fucking great. And then this when they Village, I really enjoy. Village is more like an action game than a horror game, but it's still really good. I really like how they've done the first person type aspect. It's completely, it makes you immersed into the game. That's not that bad then. You get three sets. Because Doom Eternal, I'm like ultra nightmare. Yeah. You get three if you die, you go back to the very beginning. Yeah. There's no save. No, but it's, it's because people will complain because obviously there's a lot of people that can't do it in one sitting. Was it Doom 2016? It's good. The one Doom 2016 is good. Doom Eternal, I've had it for so long, but I haven't finished it. I think I played a bit. Finished Doom 2016. Was it Christmas? It, we stayed up like Christmas Eve into Christmas Day, didn't we? We stayed up quite a bit. Yeah, because that was when that shit was rigid. Yeah. Um, and I played a bit of it, and I'm at the bit. I think I beat the. I killed another one of the priests, but now the last one's gone into hiding. Oh. Wait till the final boss of Eternal. And then, yeah. play, and then play the um, Ancient Gods DLC. Do you think there'll be another Doom game that comes out? I want another one. You, you want one every year. You want it to be like a yearly release. They might. They have released a lot of the old Quake stuff, even the RTX yeah. one and stuff, so I'm hoping. I think they're going to remake or do a full on remake of Quake. Why? Or just do a I hope they do. Remakes. Well, I hope they do, but then I also hope there's a Do you know what game I want to re want remake? The last one is a bit of a failure. Do is that for a Yeah. That was it's, a bit. The it was a good game, but it was just silly. The fucking voice acting was terrible. It was just silly. It was silly. But the. The Duke Nukem PS1. Duke Nukem was good. They did um Duke Nukem 3D remake. Well, just a HD remaster yeah. basically. I know that one was dreadful. I remember jacking off as a kid to like weird fucking shit that would come up in it, like the naked girls and stuff. Well, I don't mean quite literally jacking off, just like rubbing yourself to like fucking this. I remember there was a fucking, I mean obviously it was 2D, but you go into this room and there's like a projector that goes into like what I presume is like some porn room. And you press the button and you look round and there was this woman that had like a pillow and she was rubbing it back and forth between yes. her ass and her pussy. <laughs> and I was just like, oh. <laughs> I remember the first time I stumbled up on Vape Station. Yeah, Gay Rabbit. <laughs> gay Rabbit was one of them. My brother turned on the TV and there was Gay Rabbit there and I remember him just going like... He was just confused looking at all the messages coming through on the solid about the gay people and all this stuff on there. Do you just get off to like sunburning sensation and that? 
No. <laughs> Wait, say you're watching a film with your parents, and then there was some sort of like little sexy scene. Little sexy scene, even like yeah, they, they said like just, just just them taking their shirt off, and it's just a bra, and you're like. Yeah, I used to be like that. Now I'm just sat there like, hmm, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he walk in on DXT though? Yeah. He oh, my, in on my dad. The cop out. No, he nearly <laughs> called me. Yeah. He, I, 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 I think I was bothered drunk when I, I was drunk and you know how I it am. Was, Sometimes um, we just, we just whack, whack, whack it out. Oh, I literally yeah. whack it out. My door opens and my dad's there. Yeah, that's literally why I have to lock the door because Alice often tries to come into the room without even knocking. And like, I know obviously you don't do it, but I just will casually sit there with my feet and stuff. Yes, so yeah. do I. I will just do it. That's why I want to And that's <laughs> why I'm like, just turn around in the chair and Alice just sees my mouth out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I ain't fucking doing that. If I didn't get my willy out, I wouldn't want people coming in, but I just sit no, there with it. No, but sometimes <laughs> I'm just there, I'll knock, and then I'll like slowly open it. But the amount of times you, I've knocked on your door and you're like, oh! I need to talk to you. You're like, oh, oh. Just oh, text, the best thing to do is just text me. Sometimes you take two hours to fucking respond. I shouldn't do it. You're in the shower something. shitting or masturbating? No, if I'm masturbating, I would have seen the message. Oh, great. So <laughs> I could have been messaging you sometime this week and you've been there. Brent free, yeah. Oh, Who no. Who knows, really? Yeah. I could have been chatting up some eagles, telling them crazy daisy back to some arena. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, that get you up? <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think they have to do? What inspiration do they have to use? Um, they probably have to watch child pornography snuff porn. Maybe that's where the black market goes. Oh, they go to Japan. Look at that one. Right. In fact, I should have done it. I mean, yeah. child got fucking aggressive and upset over the fucking Harley Quinn mm -hmm. posters. He was like, oh, I bet you look at them. Are we upset? Someone, I don't look at you. But now. <laughs> but now? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer wore around his head. Did you see that one? Oh, the one where Oh, I've seen that one, yeah. That seen... was mad, that was. And yeah. I was like, that's the dream. That's weird. That's yeah. the dream. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but I don't understand how she could have been doing that because, like, that's, you know, like, the end of the bed and then the TV's there. Yeah. I was, like, fucking her in this position while the TV's here. So, and I, I remember in that moment, I don't remember what was in the scene. That's how I was, like, kind of confused how she would know. Because I was like, well, I don't remember him jacking off in the scene. So I would have been uncomfortable with it and turned it off, wasn't it? I and I, I, she was looking at me the entire time while the fucking while it was on. So I don't, I think she was saying it had spite or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I've had sex with Fast but and then Furious. We watched, that was cool. We watched it finished very multiple times. We watched. I've had sex watching Tarzan as well. No, no, yeah. the, 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 the movie, <laughs> re the, the movie yeah, remake. Like, you know what the funniest thing is? I saw someone on Facebook recently saying it's funny how Disney won't make Tarzan black because they won't want someone swinging around like a monkey who was with the. It is true though. They're yeah. going to change him from a white man to a black man because it would be called racist immediately. But why not change him? Diversity. Then you got white yeah. chicks. Yeah. Black men <laughs> dressed as white women. Which was racist, but we found it. But funny. we can't. We, yeah. we can't go white people dressed as black people. Exactly. Imagine exactly. Big Mama, but rather than it being like the black undercover cop as the black woman, it was just a white man the entire time. It would get fucked. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's that's, that's what's crazy. crazy. It's like um, Robbie, Robert Downey Jr. getting accused. Oh yeah, the black blackface blackface over. Yeah. Um, I heard he's coming back into the when he was a soldier. What the fuck's the yeah. movie called? It's, it's like a tropical storm. Or tropical storm. Some tropical thunder, yeah. isn't it? Uncle Thunder, I think so, yeah. So it's a fucking funny movie. Yeah. Well, the entire thing was satirical anyway. Yeah, it was a joke. Then, Even Tom Cruise was in, yeah. like, the, the dude with the massive fingers. And then people it. nitpicked it because of mm. the Indian black people. It's funny, though, because they'll just constantly replace characters with black people or, like, minorities, but then the moment it's a character that could be seen as racist, like Tarzan. It's like the Harry Potter oh, no. situation with J.K. Rowling. What have you done? She's trying to keep the books as relevant as possible. So she's making all she the She said that Hermione's black, even though in the books that it says that she goes pale white. Yeah. And she's now re-released the full seven books again as a um, collection series, marrying one of the male characters. Turns out that they're lesbian. Just what I mean, there's no need for the pandering and stuff. Like, yeah. This is what I've never understood. It's like Blade, an incredible black character, mm. Spawn, an incredible black character, Kill Bill, an incredible female fucking character, Bruce Lee, a very good Chinese or Chinese fucking. Just say Asian. Well, yeah, a good Asian representation of a good character, Chuck Norris, a great fucking white. Oh, have you seen the Chuck Norris movie? James Bond as well, a good white man. You don't need to change those yeah. characters. It's like. Um, oh. Do you remember in Hannah Fight with Agent Locke? They were saying the only reason you didn't like him was you're being racist. No, nobody said that. Everybody said we wanted more character development. 
because he was an emotionless shit character. And then they took Master Chief out for half the game for a guy that no one gave a fuck about. But they built Agent Muppet to be a good character, and I thought, oh, he's going to be six. He's like some fucking badass who's going to become a Spartan. And it was just like, I hope he doesn't I'll show come you, back. Um, Not because he's fucking black, some shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you this um, Chuck Norris meme, but the one that made me laugh. The guy who invented the telephone wants to invent the F2 missed calls off Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, fucking, uh, there's more than enough heroes and more than enough established people. They don't need to change. They just don't need to do it. They're gonna, they are gonna change the heroes though. So wait, worst they will. Yeah. With the the Ghostbusters that they put the a whole field not cast. Yeah, whole field not cast. Fucking shit. It was so bad. In fact, it was so bad. My dad loves 3D films, but we watched it in 3D, and he walked out. He's like, I ain't watching this fucking shit. Because the moment they started going on about like women power and like basically just man hating fucking statement, my dad was just like, I ain't watching this shit. It wasn't even in the slightest entertaining as well because you know what I'm about, don't you? Fucking Australian, me. yeah, fucking yeah, Chris Hemsworth, Chris yeah, and he played the receptionist in it. Remember, I never watched it, and they made him like a stupid no. Oh yeah, with like yeah. he's like, uh, why'd you wear glasses for? And he's like, I don't fucking know, and he's fucking got like no lenses in it, and he's like trying to run. Well, I remember some girl that used to be friends with someone I knew, and she wore glasses with plastic in them, no prescription because she thought they were cool. Yeah. And I was like, you fucking bitch. Look, like, you're taking the piss. I'm, I'm blind. I need yeah, them. I need them. It's not a fucking fashion accessory, you ho. Well, I mean, these are fucking Hugo Boss, like, frames, but that's only because yeah. I have to wear them. Well, I've got the Hugo Boss ones, and I haven't changed these the are, frames. These are so expensive. These were on for a two-for-one deal. No, but bro, literally, they're that expensive. I've, I've had these frames yeah. now for, like, probably six years, and i just replaced the actual lenses themselves. The frames yeah. are ridiculous. They're extortionate. Even... Like their baseline price is now like hundred quid. Oh, it's, yeah, it's ridiculous. And I think I think I got these like six years ago. These frames. I mean, they're a bit bad and fucked up, but they they cost me like one hundred and fifty back in the day, and they probably sell for like three hundred now in spec savers. Just fucking shitty stainless steel frame. Yeah. So this one, I lost count. It's got fucking blind. I switched it. Yeah. I switched to these ones because I fancied having no things on the bottom. And it's held by a wire. Yeah. <laughs> three times I slept on them and it snapped. Good thing is. I can get the uh, all of it replaced and they don't charge me. No, no, I didn't actually notice the frameless at the one for some reason. I, I was going to go with frameless ones, but they don't look right on me. I need the Trust frame. me, it took me a little bit to get used to them. I wanted to try them. It took me used to them. I'm never going to go back to I have frame. I have to have a shape like these as well. If I have ones that are too rectangular or too big, yeah. they look weird. I've already been very focal lenses or some shit. Bipolar, but not bipolar. Very bipolar. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like very focal. Very focal. Very focal. So like when you look, so like yeah. it's long range or it's just your normal prescription and when you look under like say you were reading or something like that, mm. it's almost like short sighted. Yeah, very focal. Yeah. Yeah. Or very focal. I think so. I don't know how you say it. Just glasses that are shit. In fact, for fucking cheeky bitch once. I was in uh, Birmingham with my pals, and this fucking girl come over to me, took my glasses off and kissed me. And I was like, what the fuck? And I like, pushed her away. Then she goes, well, maybe you should lose the glasses. And I'm like, well, maybe you should lose the fucking attitude. And she went, oh no, I didn't mean anything offensive by it. I went, like, what the fuck do you mean? I can't I hate see. it when people say that. Yeah. Well, what the fuck it's do you mean? When, when people talk? goes, no offense, and, and then but. <laughs> and then a mate turned around and goes, well, actually, I quite like him with the glasses on, it gives him character. And I was like, I don't know which one to find more fucking offensive. <laughs> You're saying it gives me character, the other cunt's saying to take them off. Are you fucking kissing me, ho? Oh, give me the fucking herpes. I think I'm gonna. Why is fly kicker through the fucking nightclub door? <laughs> I think, I think, that I think was, um, Weatherspoons in yeah. Broad Street, that was. I think, I think I'll, I think I'll get laser eye surgery, I'll get the glasses off, I might shake the beard, and I'll get the hair short. The only problem is with laser eye surgery, it doesn't last that long. It's like five years. But if, no, but if I do that, I'll get the, I'll go clean shave. No, short, short hair. No, Tay, don't get rid of it. Short please. hair. You, you were, fucking you... turn up at the door and I'll have the machete like sitting through. <laughs> it's like, who the fuck are you? It's like, I'm your ninja. <laughs> no, you're fucking not. <laughs> get the fuck out now. It's all of metal people, it's no. a machete. <laughs>
You from that fucking bitch's family? I've had, Look through I've, the people. I've had my beard for, I think nearly, I've had my beard for about 11 months now, I think. I think I started about February. Oh, I don't think we told you this, did we? Because of the threats I was getting on the YouTube video from before, yeah. I went downstairs and told security about it, and now reception has told all the rest of the security about my name and my details and the police report and stuff. With that, basically the entire of the security now knows so if they get a phone call directly from my number mm -hmm. they're going to assume there's trouble so they'll come virtually straight away even if it was just for the stupid thing there's only a few people that'll be in this dorm now but they did say with the door with the front door being closed it's unlikely they'll try and get through but if someone does does show up so don't try and take matters into your own hands because you've explained the situation to us about the police and stuff and you don't want to be going into further problems. I know it's obviously intrusion and whatnot, but it, if you're opening the door to them... Yeah, it gives them substance. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's, it's basically substance to them. So he says, call them, let everyone know in the dawn, get indoors, lock your doors, and we'll come up and deal with it. Because that's why you have the... Uh... It's unlikely it's going to happen. Very unlikely at this point, because it's now been seven days since all of this has happened I think now mm. the domestic abuse team hasn't called me for whatever reason so I'm going to leave it unless something comes through back on my end and then I'll call them up and say well I haven't had anything from you and now she's taking things further so I need to have this sorted it was so like it, it was me, like me hurt, hurt you, you. It, read it backwards it was like me hurt you nah spell it backwards so you hurt me and then it if says, you spell it backwards, obviously it doesn't say and that. She edited, yeah, she edited the top saying something like, at the person who made the video going, um, I can relate to this too, yeah. or some bullshit. Just sad. She's just trying to make me look bad to all these fucking cuckold orbits of faggots that are out. What have been saying is, th th this is quite literally, like, I've fucking explained this so many times now. If I get a woman, I want to know who the fuck her guy friends are. Mm. He literally, directly fucking talked shit about me to her, and she wasn't, like, an arsehole, she would obviously have a go at him back and bring it back to me. And then fucking, he was like telling her to come around his house, trying to get around hers, he was fucking flirting with her and stuff all the time. And I'm like, right, I've had fucking enough of this. And I fucking grabbed him and I went, right, this stops now. You do not disrespect her and you do definitely not disrespect me. It stops now. And he shit himself. He's like, no, man, I haven't said anything, I haven't done anything, I promise I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't shit. And I went, right. Are we leaving it at that? And he was like, yeah, he shook my hand, went off, that was it. Done it again, lost my fucking shit. I literally got up, oh, it was a Domino's. You went around the corner, the Domino's. Yeah. I literally went through the fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> and I started running down the road, and I've never seen a kid run so fast in all his life. All of them like in there were pissing themselves, going, I've never seen a fat kid run that fast in my life. And I was like, bro, I was literally about to snap his fucking neck. But from that, I heard no trouble again. When I, when I sprinted after him, shit, he <laughs> And they were just laughing at me, so I was like, I've never seen a fat kid run like that in my life. Because <laughs> back then, I probably was still like, 17 stones or something. Yeah, it's just like, I'm not having that. That's why, that's why, with all fucking exes I've had, knowing what their, like, guy friends have been like, I don't tolerate it. I know it sounds shitty, but the only relationships I ever know, or have ever known that have worked where the woman's had a guy friend is if the husband or the boyfriend is also friends with that guy. Well, you can't say that, significant other now, or partner. All right, well, significant other then. <laughs> You've got to be politically correct, man. I'm not going to be politically yeah, correct at all that shit. shit. I don't <laughs> Like quite literally though, like if you still decide to stay friends with them and I'm comfortable with it and you want to stay friends with them, I'm leaving. That's just how I am. I don't want any toxicity, I don't want any things building up on top of it. Somebody who's going to sit there and back them up 100% when there's loads of bullshit going on. Just like yes men and orbiters and morons, I hate it. I've, I've gone through it enough to know that guy friends are a fucking problem. Especially the, the gay best friend. Oh, that's, that's my favourite, that one. The, it's like, it's, that's usually a red flag as well, though. If you get a girl and they're like, they say, oh, like, girls don't like me, or they find me gross or whatever, that's usually because they're not a nice person. Women, this is one thing that people need to understand about women, and they never seem to get it. Women are very, very, very selective and like well round book reading people. Sometimes I don't realise that with men because they expect us to think like them. When they're in a mood, they expect us to know they're in a mood, but they don't fucking communicate. Yeah, it pisses me off. But women can do that to each other, they can detect when there's a problem. So they'll mm. probably know when they meet her. She's a fuck, I don't like her. They, they will judge just straight off that fact. I should have thought about that.
Yeah. Because usually when there's a lot of bullying going on, especially when it's between girls, that it's usually because they know the person is a cunt. That's one thing I will say. I know that now for a fact. Well, she actually did have quite a lot of friends that were girls, but they would usually pricks themselves anyway. <laughs> but you've got to love a good cat fight, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's fun. Fucking great. I really enjoyed it because that, that was the best years when I was. You always had a friend there to like spider with me, like, oh, if you won't have him, I'll take him. <laughs> All this yeah. stuff and shush, 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 you friend, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the XD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but like, obviously, she, she knew I wouldn't bark with her. Oh, fuck. I almost forgot about that. This was a Chloe as well, George's friend. Oh, this is the one, yeah. We went to a house for a party and I got fucking pissed because they had all these, you know, like the slushy machines, like the fucking taps and that. Well, like the ones on holiday. Yeah. Loads of them, there was different wines, different cocktails all in the machines because the fucking family were whacked on drugs. And I was getting all the wine out, so I really fancied this sort of red wine. I don't know why I was banging it off the whole night. And I brought my speaker with me so we could listen to music outside without it inside. Mm-hmm. And I went to Clary Arts when I go to the toilet, went in and she locked the door behind. Oh, really? Because the, the toilet, basically, it's really weird. You had to go through her room to get to the other side where the toilet was. Mm-hmm. But there was one at the front, but it was already occupied. Yeah. So I went through it, she got the fucking door. And that was terrifying. Because she was asking where I was, and then she locked the door. She literally basically unlocked the door, George had come through, and they were in the room together. And I was like, oh, fuck, I'm still in the toilet. Mm-hmm. And then I had to come out, got the dirtiest fucking look. Had to come back outside. I sat down on the sofa with the speaker and the wine, and I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck, this ain't good." And then she come out and was like, "What was that all about?" I was like, "Well, oh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not quite young I was like, "I just came in, and she's locked the door behind." And you know what she's like and what she's been like with me, and I was a little bit worried. I love you, babe. I'll be back in a bit. Went to go kiss her, and she leaned away from me. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, that is ultimate betrayal. Because like, there's publicly people in the queue waiting. Everyone's looking at me. And I'm thinking, that's fucking humiliation. And you know what I'm like with rejection. I told you about this. And I made, made the situation way worse. Because then she goes, wait, you won't kiss him, I will. And then she leans straight in for one. <laughs> and I remember people looking at me on the stairs then. And then I walked downstairs. And he went, what, why the fuck did she do that to you, mate? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, you can't be putting up with that. I was like, well... I wasn't. But was like, yeah, but if it wasn't for a mate saying that she wasn't there, she wouldn't have done that. Like, yeah. That's literally like public humiliation. That was fucking wrong. I wouldn't have done that to her. Even if I wasn't feeling it or was in the mood with her or whatever, that was fucking shit. Brandy had hood. Yeah. You should take her back to Goldfield College. Oh, they were all insane, man. Yeah. She, was go- she was going to uni, this is why we was in college. And we always used to kind of spite each other a little bit. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, I've got loads of hoes on the go. And she'd be like, oh, it's all these men in uni that want me. So we were just a bit playful. But she took it too far the one day. And then she stopped texting. And I was like, right, is she with someone else? Is she kidding? Because she'd like quite literally did that blank thing, you know, where like, <laughs> well, I've took the piss before I'm gone. She's busy. Put the phone down. I'll turn your phone off. Just leave it. <laughs> it's really toxic. Yeah. But. It wasn't quite that bad. She was just like, oh yeah, well I found someone else now with someone. Just stop replying. Mm-hmm. And she took the joke too far, but she did apologise for it. She was like, I'm really sorry. I was like, yeah, you fucked me up now. <laughs> that is just taking the piss. It was ne- it was never really tucked in. The only problems I had was a mum. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I've explained that. And I <laughs> broke the fucking handle off the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that I got along really well with my dad. I was having a good laugh with my dad and a mum and a sister as well. Sisters just sat like this, looking at me across the table, giving me weird looks. Every time I spoke as well, pulling faces, talking shit behind my back to a mum whispering and stuff. So I could tell I was just being dickheads. But I could tell the dad was uncomfortable because he obviously liked me, which is very rare. It's very rare the dad liked you, but the fact I was getting along with him, I felt really good about it. And fucking a mum's there. So, like, so what do you do then? So, so, so where do you work? Oh, you do that. But like, really fucking snarky and just being a bitch. very condescending. Yeah. I was kind of like, well, I'm not really sure what to think about him because the fucking dad seems to like, really like me and I really like him as well and he's invited me up to have a drink with him and stuff. But I don't know if I really want to be around them if I've got a fucking sister and a mum whispering in each other's ears looking at me like a cunt. It's usually that the dad knows best usually when it comes down to guys. So why the fuck are they being pricked? The handle. <laughs> he came off. I went, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> 
And then I tried to pull it back up, but I forgot the spring had literally come and done. <laughs> so by the time I put it back up, it just shot up, and the spring bounced off the window, hit the other side, it went on the floor, and I'm like, oh shit, it's like, hey, Vinny, you're right. Like, I didn't even do anything wrong, I was holding on to the fucking thing. I went to go hug her mum, and she was like, no, I don't do hugs. Yeah. She was like, I shake your hand, though. I was like, okay. Her dad come out, give me a hug straight away. She was just really nice, she was just really sweet, really lovely, she had a heart of gold. I had really no problems with her, other than her family. We just had to be like back and forth kind of joke and one went too far. That was about it. <laughs> yeah. But it was alright. So I've had a fair share, I've had a, <coughs> I've had an office club. We were very clearly very different people. If I was on the band and you stuff, she'd probably say, well, I don't like him, but I can see where you're coming from. Where she would quite literally be, she never told me until three days after why she went quiet. Sorry, a month after until why she went quiet for those three days. She just randomly brought it up in an argument. Oh, because you said this. So I said, so literally just because I said something that I wouldn't do, you went and done a silent treatment on me for virtually three days. Well, personally, I wouldn't really like to do that because I just couldn't really see myself being happy with it. Like, personally for me, I'd rather go in a part-time job, do the YouTube thing and everything else. And I was like, well, fuck. If they're happy with it, that's fine, but I just couldn't really see that them being well, happy so or me being happy with the situation. What would happen if one job others? Yeah, they lose all the holiday. It just goes like this. And I was just looking at her while she was sat there, and I was like... Cool. That was I literally good. pulled the chair back, fucked off, went to the toilet, yeah, come yeah. back. That's a woman. Right. And she was like, give it here, and I went, no, I'm going to type it in manually. And she just stormed off in the corner, and I thought, fuck off. How much it cost her to sit in the corner? Oh, what did I fucking tell you earlier, bro? Here you go. Here's the magic. Right. She's got BPD, he's got BPD. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I've got that too. Guess who else said that to me when I said I've got ADHD? It works. Get bitch in the moment, but all insane. Do you want to know their name? They're insane. Do you want to know their name? Like. I asked them personal questions at this point. I couldn't care less. And she even said, no, it's my mental health. Oh, oh and also, hang me and Jen was being that's She is nuts. Me she she just, I really want to get done for harassment. Look the video. It was kind like... <laughs> Sorry. What have you been doing Sorry the entire time? I've been knocked out of sleep. Not here you guys chatting like dog food. So I come in and I'm like, ah. And I see like the camera set up over now. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. On? It does look like I walked in there. You're going to start a gay porno. It, it, <laughs> no, it basically is. That's the OnlyFans edition. Welcome to Stinkton Point. <laughs> oh, for the first half an hour. We're, we're, that's yeah. why I just eat it. I reckon we should go. Yeah, so basically, it was a mukbang. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon one day we should just go down to the shop, buy what we think goes in the cake, not look at a single reference recipe, just um, go. I've literally I've got, I've got the tray and all the cake mixture in there anyway. Basically, for Valorant specifically, and I'm going to keep making videos on like mental <laughs> the health, bingo. the bingo sheet of how many women mention different mental health. I think, she said, oh, yeah, I think my boyfriend, uh, my ex had that. And, you know, oh yeah, she said she'd been raped as well. Of course, uh, we, we're in Discord call, Yeah. obviously we're talking team chat. She says that, all you hear in Discord call is that, I told you, fucking told you she got raped, fucking told you, she got raped, she got raped. Yeah. Oh, and daddy issues, daddy issues come straight out, I don't keep the file and all this. Say, Ooh. if they have a mommy in their name, they have daddy issues. That ain't just that, they've got daddy issues in general. I've These got are mommy fatherless households. I've got mommy. Yeah, we need someone to prove that we're not misogynistic. Find out that for some reason we have a lot in common. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm going to be exactly what I said right. to Tay earlier. Right. <laughs> I've already showed them. Oh. Right? But literally. <laughs> Yeah, you can be in my pocket, Sage. That's a red flag. That is a red flag. No, it's not. Oh, yeah. In my head, I'm sorry, but I got. I've got ACE wheel. I've got ACE because I've started using ACE. She was going, oh, yeah, my dad's in here and that's going, oh, I'll probably get along well with him then. Yeah, just watch the crawl. He wanted that one view on the bus. Alex, all I'm saying is now, I went on Plink, went on this girl's profile, who's blatantly an EHO, called her an EHO. And she goes, I think you're talking about yourself. And then I sent her a message saying, Crazy Daisy, back to someone. Oh, yeah. And okay. she goes, Are you alright? And I went, Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> and, then she, and then she started messaging me, going, You don't want that either. That's a nut. You see, the horns, that's it. It's the horns. <laughs> it's the horns. Yeah, but literally, but you go to the news feed. Make matters worse on that one, right? In the comments. She replies to me, going, I like to play games on my day and all this stuff. Read that. To the and point. she sent me a heart, Alice. She sent me a heart after I put Crazy Daisy, back to summer reading. A fucking heart. Look, that, look, uh, look, that's look, mental look. health. <laughs> Nina, look, you got that one. Which is Crazy, the first, first trap. You'll probably see my comment. Go through. You got the same bitch in the same pose. You want with this one? 
Yeah, but if, yeah, it's, just, yeah, if, yeah, it's, if yeah. it's just a square crop of their face and they have the devil horns... Am I coming to that? Just look for me. If I make a pink eye, it won't be any ego wild if you post in crew be saying my wife. Love my wife. And you'll probably still get messages like, hit me up, girl. Hit me up, girl, then. <laughs> what the fuck's that shit? No, There's a faggot like a boy that goes on on a pink eye. Bro, you came in, it's not a date in that. Well, it's because even the e ho was on it. No, you're not attractive. You ain't gonna get matches. Um, what do you think you have, to lie, you have to lie about your oh, yes. when you're getting gay and they ask you what you like. You're like, oh, oh no, yes. it's just it's like that now because I derived like last game. Why is it like a dating app? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It fucking is. Basically, basically I'll quite literally come on there and get a message like, hi, I play Valorant 2, you wanna play one later? No. <laughs> I look quick shot, literally now, this is me just in my trolling element. This is where I actually yes. get to take revenge on the e-hoes, because I'm going to go straight in. It's literally, caption, do you want a gaming bay? Yes, it what? is a ho app. Ho. Oh, we're also, we're going to get, everyone's going to get matching hoodies. Yeah, we're all going to get a childish one. We're all going to get the childish hoodies. Uh, if you pay for it, sure. No, everyone pays for their own. In their oh, own I'm not forking out 100 quid. In their own time. Time. You can get a replica one for like 20, 25 quid, and it's just as good. We can all roll around in town, the same hoodies, and just piss everyone off. No, because we'll do like, we'll yeah, do like sure. the gym videos. Oh, that's got work. We'll do the yeah. Alien videos. Well, I, don't I, I don't, but I feel like I do. I've had enough good relationships to know that not everyone's a terrible person, but their parents might be. But not. We are. We're My far, parents are We are, are far here, from, but... We are far from bad people. So did mine. Uh, no, no, I've seen you, thank you. <laughs> you can put it in the clip if you want, I'll send you a video, you can put it in the <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we're missing? I won't put the whole clip in, I'll just put them full in on the fence. <laughs> try it, try and blow out the face as well if possible. You know, mm. you know what we're missing? Alright, time that. time for the uh the only there you go. There's, another, there's another video, heavily right. judging women. Yeah, but this surprised, but yeah, please. <laughs> Not really, no. no. no, no, no. Oh, oh the gang signs! Now we got a clip of his back. Want to see oh. your look? No, I fucking don't. Flash! <laughs> well, I don't want copyrighted music, cheers. Do you get I don't know, that last. Right. Oh Stop it with the break in the. <laughs> it's not gonna break. You were doing that earlier, too. That was the like, last time. I was the last time. Yeah, you fucking slapped me. Slap me. Yes, yeah, because all of the team was about to fall off the wall. I'm not a fan of the face of. Um, fake tits, fake nips, hope. To be fair, if she, if, if she keeps her face on the bed with the mask up in the air, it's fine. Vaseline, <laughs> give me some of these fucking. Vaseline starfishes. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, we do oh. Them. At least we got no people who are Parkinson's here. Oh, 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 just getting it back now. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, God. So, me, she's got enough time to get fat tits and all that. She ain't got enough time to plant her toes, a dirty cow. <laughs> oh, we found out. Real? We found out Jen has 12 inch nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Jen didn't go to bed all. So, I've got a little guitar. Hey, my sinister. I've got a little guitar. 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 I've got a little <laughs> That's what I thought would be a good idea. Well, I like <laughs> should get rid of these quickly. Get them away. <laughs> get them away. Okay. <laughs> 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 we've already done it. We're what just going to say this man, we don't know him. What if I get, no. what Yeah, and the security already knows about the harassment yeah. going on. They so. know about me. No, yeah, the amount of times they probably send us walking in with different kinds of people. They probably think we're trying to sell out the rooms or something. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like um, e hoes. Go oh, away! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I guess is, it, is this going to show you up on your YouTube channel? What? One of this video? Yeah, when it's edited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take him two years to edit this video. Oh, I was going to talk about Kevin who burnt my ass on the video. No, no, but we're going to put the, uh, we're going to put the unedited version on Discord. <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, oh, I was no, thinking. We already talked about it like I'm an hour ago. Did you actually? I mean, Kevin who burnt my ass. Yeah, because yeah, I was on about Kevin who burnt all sack. Oh, yeah. And then we went on to you. To be fair, mine was a pure accident. I don't know how I managed to get it, but it just happened. Well, mine was an accident to a degree, because I didn't know that. No, because you slapped it on your ball sack. How's that an accident? Well, the hair come off. <laughs> What's that an accident? Yeah, hey, trust me. Put, put a bit what of sour on it. It was fine. Mother. Huh? What if the one on the left was Joel's mother right now? No, I put my foot through the screen. I'm just waiting for a. I wasn't seeing your back.